Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how you go about buying Kronos NFTs from the Ibisus Bay marketplace. And I'm going to do this using the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. But first, what you're going to want to do is set up an account with Crypto.com through their app. And this is so that you can purchase Kronos and then you can transfer those Kronos from your Crypto.com app account over to the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. And then we can use those to purchase our Kronos NFTs through the Abesis Bay marketplace. If you need help setting up a Crypto.com account through their app, I'll have a separate tutorial video linked down in the description. But I'm going to be launching the DeFi wallet. And in your DeFi wallet, if you're wondering how to set it up to connect to the Crypto.com app, you can click on the little image in the upper left-hand corner. Whatever you see there is going to open up your menu. And we can see in our settings menu, it says connect to the crypto.com app. I've already done this, but this makes it so that I can either transfer Kronos from the app over to the DeFi wallet, or I can actually purchase Kronos right through the DeFi wallet as well once I have this hooked up and I have a payment option over in the crypto.com app. And if you need help with connecting the crypto.com app to the DeFi wallet, I'll have an additional tutorial video linked down in the description. But going back to the homepage, and next I'm going to click on where it says Kronos. And when you have the Crypto.com app linked up with the DeFi wallet, you'll have the option to buy CRO. So if I click on buy, you have some different options here. You can either buy CRO and then transfer them to Kronos, or you can just buy Kronos straight up right here by clicking this option and then clicking next. And then you can enter in how much Kronos that you'd like to purchase. And if you have a payment option linked up with the Crypto.com app and you link the account to your DeFi wallet, you'll also have those payment options here that you can select from so that you can make your purchase of Kronos. So going back to the Kronos page, and I also just quickly want to touch on the Kronos bridge. So I'm going to open that up. You're going to want to make sure that your CRO is on the Kronos and it's currently in beta. So it's called Kronos beta. And you can see here at the top, it says crypto.org. It's coming from that going to Kronos beta. And I have around 100 CRO that's currently on the crypto.org chain. And if I wanted to transfer these over to Kronos beta, I can click this max button and then I can click transfer at the bottom and then confirm transfer. And then after you enter in your passcode, it's going to put that request in. And these should transfer over relatively quickly. So I'm going to exit out. And now it says that my crypto.org balance is zero CRO. If I switch these around so that Kronos Beta is on top, it's going to show my balance that's currently on Kronos Beta. And this is what I can use to buy NFTs in the Abesis Bay marketplace. So now going back to the homepage. And to find the Abesis Bay marketplace, we're going to go down here towards the bottom and click on where it says D apps. And you can find Abesis Bay in the Kronos D app. So if I click on that and then scroll to the bottom, we can see that it is right here. I can click on it there. I also have it bookmarked in my saved tab. So whatever page that you're on, I'll open up Abesis Bay right here by clicking on this icon. But like I was saying, any page that you want to bookmark and save, you can just click on this little bookmark icon in the bottom right hand corner, and then it will show up in your saves area. So now at this point, I'm going to click on this little circle icon in the upper right hand corner. And this is going to show you your wallet as well as your CRO balance. And this is what you can use to purchase NFTs on their marketplace. So now we just need to find an NFT that we'd like to purchase. And I have it filtered by collections. And to do this filter, you just click on the menu in the upper right hand corner. And you can look at just the general marketplace, but I recommend going to collections. And also if you're looking to mint drops, you can look for those in the drops area, but I'm going to go to collections. And then it's going to filter them by the NFTs that have done the most volume in transactions on Abesis Bay. And for this example, I'm going to be purchasing a treehouse. So I'm going to select that option right here and then scroll down. There's a lot of useful links right here at the top where you can go to that NFT's website, their Twitter page, Discord, etc. And then there's some other useful information where it shows the current floor, the total volume, the number of NFT sales the average sale price, the royalty that's associated with the NFT collection that you're looking at, and how many NFTs are currently listed. So we can see it's a little over a thousand of the 10,000 tree houses are currently on the marketplace. And we can filter these tree houses and I'm going to be looking to purchase one towards the floor. So I'm going to filter them by price going from lowest to highest. So then you can just scroll down and look through the NFTs to see which one that you might want to purchase. And once you come across the NFT that you'd like to purchase, you can just click on it. And then scroll down until you see a buy now option. And we can see that it's right here. So I'm going to click on that. And then that brings us to the confirmation page. It's also going to show us the estimated network fee, the total. And if everything looks good, we can click confirm. Otherwise, you can click reject. So for me, I'm going to click confirm. And then after maybe about 10 to 15 seconds, it shows success here at the bottom. So this purchase went through. And now to check to see that this NFT is in my collection, I can go back up here towards the top and click on my wallet. And then click on where it says my NFTs. 
And then I'm going to filter so that it only shows me tree houses and click on that option right here. And once it loads, scrolling down, we can see that that treehouse has showed up in my NFTs. So that's just a way that you can double check to make sure that the NFT transferred over into your wallet. So that should wrap this one up. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.